Every year at Fairfield Prep, we have a theme, a theme for the year that informs all that we do. Our theme this year is our common home. One of the most common connections to home is brotherhood. Two big pillars in this common home theme this year here at Fairfield Prep. One is the pillar of caring for the handiwork God has given us. Everything we do, every activity, every effort should be pointed at the greater glory of God and caring for God's creation. We should see you taking advantage of every opportunity to appreciate and respect the natural resources that Earth has given to us. We should see you at lunch, figuring out what can I recycle from what I have in front of me. We should see you with a reusable water bottle. We should see you encouraging who's ever driving you to maybe carpool. We should see you riding a bike to school every once in a while. We should see you conserving water. We should see you doing little things every single day to care for our environment. Little things make the big things happen. Second is civic engagement and civil discourse. You may be aware that there's a little something coming up in November, a national presidential election, yes? Jesuit schools have been around for 485 years. We have seen kings rise and fall, regimes come and go, world wars happen and settle into peace, recessions and depressions, and through it all, young men and women of Ignatian and Jesuit schools have been leaders in civic engagement, disagreeing with each other, but disagreeing respectfully, with great ideas, with intellectual humility, eloquentia perfecta. We don't teach you what to think, we teach you how to think. We learn how to think with rigor. We don't just spout off. We look at the facts before we state our opinion. We will disagree, and that's all right, as long as we keep in mind the common home and a common purpose. But in one of St. Ignatius' letters in 1541, he gave some guidelines on how to have conversations with other people. Say little and be slow to speak. Listen long and willingly until they have finished what they have wanted to say. One of my mentors here at Prep taught me one of the most valuable lessons I've ever learned. And that lesson is that there is a difference between waiting to talk and listening. And when you realize what that difference is and when you act on that difference, that is when you can truly have a conversation with another human. So gentlemen, we expect you to engage, to be present, to be respectful, but most importantly, we expect you to listen to one another and not just be waiting to talk. You all have one thing in common. You all now belong to these halls. You belong to the beautiful arches that you walked through this morning. You all belong to PrEP, and PrEP now belongs to you. You are now part of a long and fruitful legacy of PrEP men who have cared and cherished our common home on 1073 North Benson Road. In each crevice of this school, there are things to learn, history to inspire, and people that will shape you into the young men that will go out into the world and make a change like each prep man has done before you. Be yourself and prep will be the place for you. Be a brother, be a leader, be a prep man, even if you don't fully understand what that means quite yet. I promise one day you will. Go prep.